my name is Glenn Haynes, uh, from Shearer Wool Handler Training and uh, also AWI Trainer. Uh, here today to discuss about the um, development and design of the new AWI race mod. The main design requirements that we needed were to reduce the catch and drag injuries, um, make the job easier and uh, also look after the wool handler and the pr producer uh, with the preparation of the wool and also to um, the animal welfare side as well which is very important in this day and age. So a few main things that we had to look at really was um, remove the catching pen, uh, that way we take out trip hazards, um, slipping over in the catching pen. We take out um, damaged gratings or nails poking out, which uh, you know can cause a fair bit of damage. Also, the sheep don't get their feet caught in the grating in the catching pen, um, and there's takes away uh, any sort of smothering risks whatsoever of the sheep. Um, and also, uh, dramatically reduces pen stain um, with the, on the wool. So. You may notice um, that the actual shearing board is very familiar to most shearers. It's the same dimensions as a normal shearing board. Um, so if the shearer is bringing a sheep out and the wool handler needs to shift their wool, they've still got room one side or the other. Uh, the same dimensions from your shearing stand to the wall, etc. Uh, although we have made designed these so the, the actual plant shifts forward and backwards. So if you want to work a little bit closer to your pen, you can, but if you want to work a little bit closer to your porthole, you can also do that. We've incorporated the AWI porthole design, uh, which is a nice wide porthole. Lots of room to be organised to put your gear, uh, etc. on, combs, cutters, etc. But it's on a 45 degree angle and got a really good uh, slope for the sheep, uh, which you'll find is when you finish shearing, instead of going to your traditional porthole and twisting that sheep to go out the porthole and forcing it, you're finishing in this position and you can just open your legs and the sheep will go down very, very easily. Um, it's incorporated with small hooks to hang your combs, pouch, your cutters, uh, tally counters, towel, etc. on it, um, double adapters so that we've got, can run a fan, uh, all our other equipment, plenty of room for your water bottle. So the catching pen itself, we've left it so there's one full step to the catching pen uh, door, the race door, so that way um, you can still straighten up. So the main design feature uh, that why we do we run the sheep right to left? Okay, there's a few major reasons for that uh, after a lot of trialling of why we did that. One is that uh, when we have got sheep in front of the shearer, there's always a minimum of two sheep in the back, wrong here, before they get to the actual drop down catching pen, as we call it in the race. So if there's a sheep that's not quite up there yet, you can just reach over, push forward as you're walking to your pen, push forward and that sheep will drop straight down. You can't pick and check, pick your pen if you've got a rough sheep in front of you in there or a good sheep in front of you. It's not going to matter. You can't force this one through. You're shearing the one in front of you while there's a sheep in front of uh, it that it can't go forward. Another reason why we've got them facing that way because we wanted the, the back of the sheep, which is around about a metre to a metre and a half, we wanted the tail to fall towards the down tube, not away from the down tube. Uh, with the conventional door, uh, which we, we worked out that was the best on your body, etc., and safest, when you open that door, you've got full access to that sheep. If the tail was going that way and the head was here, the tail would hit that door and force that door away from you and land over that side versus, as you'll see, we'll land towards this side and we've got one step back to get into position. The other risk hazard that we had with the door um, with the sheep facing the other way when we opened the door was if I pushed the door down and I had to catch the sheep's head this side and to pull the tail or the rump towards me from this way that leaves the door open for the next sheep to come straight at me so the sheep would be facing me um, which would again be a big hazard especially with uh, composites etc that might want to launch itself straight at the shearer. 
Also, if the sheep were coming from that way and there was a sheep that wasn't in here, the shearer would actually have to hop out, walk over to this end of the pen, and the sheep would be looking at them, so the sheep would back up instead of walking forward like this way. But then the sheep would back up and the shearer would have to physically walk around the next pen to get to that sheep. Whereas this way, with the sheep facing this way, as soon as that one's taken out, I'm catching that sheep. Then the, sh the, sh wall, the, the sheep from behind this one, the next sheep in line, can only go one way and that's straight through to the next one. It can't actually connect with the shearer at all. We've left the design with a gap purposely here, underneath the kick plate, the base of the race is there, underneath the kick plate so that when we tip that sheep out and the sheep wants to push its legs out, they can only go under there. So there's no pushback onto the shearer himself. So that sheep can just kind of come down towards the stand to come into our starting position and the legs will go under there. You'll notice the wood along the back here. It's another shearer's um, design that we've, um, between the shearers that we've worked out. That way if a handpiece gets kicked, it only kicks into the wood. It's not getting kicked into steel and we um, hope that we don't get our combs and cutters damaged. Okay, so catching the sheep, very easy. So I've pulled out a gear, I'm walking towards the door. There's a sheep there ready for me to go. Hand on the door. Unlike conventional, I'm not going to twist the head. I just want to pull that sheep and take full advantage of the, the kick race here. And so I can tip that sheep's tail towards that down tube into my starting position. My right hand on the rump, on the opposite rump to my body. I'm just going to place my hand underneath the jaw of the sheep and pull that sheep towards me gently. My hand goes from the right rump straight to the right leg where I'm shearing, and I'm straight into my shearing position and away I go. So I support the head, put my hand on the right hand on the rump, and gently pull that sheep towards me. Shift my right hand straight to that front leg, straight into my shearing position.